Hey guys, Surgeon here with another Cigar Federation video review. Today we're going to be viewing the Davidoff Nicaragua. Now you might be thinking, hey, didn't Seth already review the Davidoff Nicaragua back in 2015? Yes, he did. But today we're going to be viewing the Short Corona. And as a person who lives in cold environments, I always appreciate a good short smoke. And we haven't really done a lot of short smokes. We've done a lot of Toros, a lot of Robustos, a lot of Torpedos, Bellicosos, and longer cigars. So it's right in my alley to be smoking a smaller cigar. So as per my usual shtick, I'm going to be doing a nose, do a pre-light, and uh, get cracking here because I'm pretty excited. So it's actually, unfortunately, or fortunately, it's a perfect day for it. The uh, sun is actually out and it's not cold at all today. So uh, be interested to get cracking here. So talking a little bit about the uh, Davidoff Nicaragua, it's been out for a few years since 2013. It's a short Corona, so very, very short, three and three quarter inches by 46 ring gauge. MSRP on that is still $9.90, so it's not it's not inexpensive. Uh, uses a 10-year-old Nicaraguan wrapper, which is a Havana Seed Rosado wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan binder, which I think is from Jalapa, and then uh, Nicaraguan filler from all three regions, Esteli, Condega, and Ometepe. Actually, I guess that's, there's four regions, because not including Jalapa filler, which, you know, if you're using Jalapa for a binder, you probably wouldn't want to use it in the filler. Regardless, let's get cracking here. So lots of leather on the wrapper. Some uh, spicy cedar, actually. It could just be an indication of how long the cigar's been aging. Tough to say. And honestly, not much out of the foot. Not really picking anything up. So I'm going to get lighting here, get reviewing. I've talked about this in my reviews in the past that you want to be really careful, especially in my pre-light technique. You want to be really careful not to torch the wrapper. That could never be possibly more true than, especially with a small cigar like this, where the wrapper is going to have a lot more influence. You really got to be careful. So now that I've said that, I've set myself up for failure. So I'm going to try and do this as carefully as possible. Give this, give this cigar the, the do that it's really... Uh, really needs. Now I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for this because I actually bought this retail up here in Canada. If it's $9.90 American, you can pretty much take about 330%, 340%, and that's basically what it's going to land to after tax. Kind of a few bucks to pay for a short Corona, but you know what? I'm willing to make that kind of sacrifice for my audience. And obviously I'm going to enjoy reviewing and smoking a good cigar. So I am going to get to smoke a good cigar here hopefully. I have not read Seth's review, so I'm going in as blind as possible here using my trusty Vite Zycar V cutter, which is about right for a small ring gauge like that. I mean, you could probably punch it as well, but you know, my standard is really a V cut. Mm, spicy for a start, a little bit of hay, a little bit of resistance, actually, I shouldn't say a little bit, quite a bit of resistance on the draw, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Concern, of course, with a smaller ring gauge like this is that you're going to draw too much and too fast and it's going to burn too hot. So, a little bit of resistance on the draw is actually probably a good thing. So I'll check in and uh, start checking in on the flavors. So I think one of the things I might have been worried about with uh, Davidoff is, you know, you think of Davidoff and I, you know, I, I'm not saying they're a mild cigar, but you think of them in the creamier side of cigars. And when I think about Nicaraguan tobacco, it's typically quite full flavored, full bodied, and certainly full strength. So you look at the tobaccos that are in the, you know, in the mix here, that's a lot of pretty strong tobacco, and Davidoff certainly hasn't shot away in this Nicaragua from really creating a true Nicaraguan puro. I'm um, talking about the uh, draw here, so getting a lot of really, really rich spices in the retro hill, getting, a, again, good amount of leather post draw, which is kind of indicative of a lot of Nicaraguan tobacco for me. And the post draw leather really sticks. And there is a bit of trailing sweetness, although, again, because the, the tobaccos are so full body right now, the sweetness kind of comes, and then it gets completely run over. All right, so I'm about 12 minutes in here, settling in nicely. Got a brilliant, brilliant Nicaraguan tobacco profile to it, and what I mean is it's really showcasing what tobacco, what uh, Nicaraguan tobacco has. So, you know, it's got a lot of richness, got a little bit of smokiness, got a little bit of earth, but not overpowering, got a little bit of leather, um, and even, you know, again, not, not a lot of spice. It's not overpowering. It's all in balance. Very, very good start. And for a short Corona, really producing a lot of flavors here. So I was kind of expecting to get about 45 minutes out of this, but I do smoke quite leisurely. I tend to smoke slower to get the most flavors out of the cigar that I can. Guessing this will probably be about an hour long smoke for me. Coming up on the 35 minute mark and the first third has been really, really good. About halfway through the first third, there's this really elegant sweetness that built up 
and it's a great counterpoint to this to the spices which have also ramped up in intensity i mean this is every bit as much a nicaraguan puro as you would smoke from any other manufacturer straight out of nicaragua has a lot of character to it and a lot of flavor for a short corona this thing is not skimping on flavor at all and i'm smoking it very leisurely you can see i'm just starting to get into the middle third the spices, like I said, have ramped up in intensity, but very, very good. I, I may end up getting an hour and a half out of this. I'm just really taking my time and really enjoying this. Coming up on the 50 minute mark here, there's a really rich chocolate that's entered in the middle third. I haven't lost any of the other flavors that are in the mix here, which is really nice. Very balanced. I mean, really, what would you expect out of a Davidoff other than a really great cigar and certainly delivering in spades? Obviously, my initial estimation of 45 minutes was way, way off. So I've probably got another 10 minutes here before I get into the final third. Price aside, fantastic cigar so far. Sitting at the hour and eight minute mark, really in the final third here. And the final third is the spices have fallen off in a, in a nice way. They've been replaced by this really creamy chocolate. I don't want to say it's nougat, but it's just this really balanced creamy chocolate. I've probably got about... 10 or 15 minutes left on this cigar. Pri again, price aside, I think this is probably a pretty easy box split for me. I think if these were a little bit less money and money were the were the deciding fact, I mean, I tend to review on flavor, not on price, but if the price were lower, this would be a instantaneous box buy for me. I, um, I'm interested to try this in a longer Vitola and see how it holds up versus the short Corona. But this is, I mean, just a perfect smoke. Really balanced, great representation of Nicaraguan tobacco. Glad I had the chance to review this. Wrapping up the review of the Davidoff Nicaragua Short Corona, really, really good CR. I did get some acrid quality in the little bit of the last third. It's, uh, overall, amazing experience, really enjoyable cigar, very easy box split. Uh, again, I'll have to go over my notes. Check out the root and view at cigarfederation.com. Appreciate everyone who's either listen to the podcast of this uh, cigar review or watch the video and we'll be back next week for another cigar video review i'm john the cigar surgeon check us out at cigarfederation.com